one of the things that we constantly heard during the early days of the pandemic and even lockdown, you may remember, um, oh, we need to be more like Sweden. We need to be more like Sweden. We need to imitate Sweden more because, you know, um, Sweden isn't locking down at all. Of course, as we've talked about multiple times, and again, uh, multiple Swedes in comments down below have constantly told me every single time how much, you know, uh, as we've said, these guys knew nothing what was going on in Sweden. And of course, they don't understand the amount of, um, you know, social safety net stuff that there is in Sweden that allowed them not to lock down as soon as they did. But of course, they did eventually go into lockdown, uh, just like every other country did. Um, and of course, there's also, you know, population factors as well. Um there's a number of other factors as well. So, you know, you know, saying that we should be more like Sweden, and especially referring to the pandemic, is, um, you know, it's not really, shall we say, a proper good one-to-one -one comparison to really have. Lots and lots of differences between uh, the UK and Sweden. But there is something that we do have a bit in common, and that is, of course, free schools. Free schools have been a big, big big uh, push by the Conservatives for at least over 10 years now. And this was all, the whole idea was, oh, you don't understand if we get the free market involved in education and we run these schools as, you know, private you know, enterprises to, to make money, then, you know, um, education is going to be, you know, fantastic. It's going to be um, amazing how, how wonderful all these free schools are going to be. Well, We've had free schools in many countries now for at least over 10 years. So now we should be expecting to see some, you know, good results. Surely all this, you know, education should be on the rise in these countries that have implemented, uh, you know, these free schools. Well, <laughs> um, Sweden, uh, one of, again, one of the first countries that did implement um, free schools, says the system is a failure. <laughs> so let's go into this and find out just how much a failure these free schools uh, have been to Sweden's education system. Um, so, as always, uh, thank you very much to all those people who do help support the channel. Uh, like I say, there is the link to the Patreon, the one off donation link, the buy me a coffee, there's the YouTube thank you button, and of course the Pony Club down below as well. So let's get on into this. So this comes from The Guardian with Sweden School Minister declares free schools system failure. Sweden has declared a system failure in the country's free schools pledging the biggest shakeup in over 30 years and calling into question a model in which profit-making companies run state education. And that's been the thing. <coughs> that's the whole thing with these free schools. The whole idea is you put, um, you know, profit-making companies into running these state education things. It sh these They should not be run by these types of companies at all. Everyone right from the beginning was predicting that these were going to be really bad and not go that well. Um, and to be honest, the further and more these things have happened, yeah, the more these people have been proved right in just how bad uh, these free schools uh, have. Uh, Sweden's uh, free school, the privately run schools funded by public money, have now attracted international acclaim, including from Britain, with the former Education Secretary Michael Gove using him as a model for hundreds of new British free schools opened under David Cameron's government. So, again, probably we should something, you know, look into, bearing that we've had these free schools or this model of free schools opened. Um, have they been good? Have they done anything? And if we are giving them public money, then yes, they should have to be open and transparent in what is going on here. Um, but yeah, I, I do hope this is something that we that they would do look into. Um, because honestly, what you're about to hear would not surprise me if this was going on in in British free schools as well. So in recent years, 
A drop in the Swedish educational standards with rising inequality and growing discontent amongst teachers and parents has helped fuel a political momentum for change. A report by uh, Sweden's biggest teacher union, uh, Sovelis Alaria, I hope that's how I say it. <laughs> I have just, uh, pardon my Swedish, <laughs> uh, warned in June, of course, of the negative consequences of having become one of the world's most marketized school systems, including the viewing of people, of pupils and students as, as consumers and a lack of resources has resulted in increasing dissatisfaction. The union has demanded the phasing out of for-profit uh, and marketized schools, and in the meantime, they say to reinvest any profits uh, in their businesses into joint stock companies and are not long-term suitable for the operation to run school activities, it said. Yep. Um, this was predicted by a lot of people when conservatives started heavily pushing uh, this model. And like I say, it's not just here. Um, America, where it or, you know, pretty much origin originated from, of course, um, big, big, um, you know, free school movement over there. We've got this here now. We've had these things for over 10 years. They should be looked into what's going on here because it has been shown in this, again, in this Swedish teachers union, look, all these profits, they go into other businesses, not into the, you know, back into the school. So there is you know, almost little to no reinvestment uh, and money spent. And it is ends up being long-term negative consequences. Who would have guessed that? Now, Lotta Endom, a liberal who was appointed the school ministers last year during the formations of Sweden's moderate party-run minority coalition, has launched an investigation into this issue. And she said that she would oversee her plans for reform, saying that it would not be possible in the reform system to take out the profits at the expertise of a good education, she told The Guardian and the Ministry of Education uh, and Research in Stockholm. Edom said that she planned to, quote, severely limit schools' ability to withdraw profits and to introduce fines for free schools that did not comply. It cannot be that the state pumps in a lot of money so that you can improve your business and at the same time, a portion of that money goes out to you as profits. This we will have to put a stop to, she said. The largest profits are often made up by secondary schools, known in Sweden as Gain Gymnasti... I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Um, she said that there has been an easier, of course, to make profits through having a, a bad quality. There are thousands of free school, the direct translated as independent schools, but also known as free schools across Sweden, with a higher proportion in cities. About 15% of all primary school children, that's 16, uh, 6 to 16 year olds, and 30% of our upper secondary school pupils, 16 to 19 year olds, go to these free schools. Endom said that this could put a number on how many schools were experiencing these issues, but she said that the problem in itself lie, lies in the system. It's not just a problem, it is the number of schools, and it becomes a system failure of everything. She has also pledged to tighten the rules on religious influence on teaching in religious schools and to strengthen the rules on school ownership, citing a government report that would warn that free schools could be exploited by Swedish and foreign owners wanting to influence society. Endholm also accused some free schools of grade inflation, with teachers awarding uh, children grades that were just too high, creating an imbalance across the whole system. And this is understood to be a particular problem in free schools, with a lower proportion of qualified teachers and schools run as joint stock companies. She said these free schools tend to give higher grades than the municipal schools, and this risks that in the end that they could uh, that that could be the municipal schools give higher grades and that in turn she says is very bad it is unfair and it leads to additionally to students thinking that they are much more knowledgeable than they are um <coughs> of course shock horror um yeah this is what a lot of people said back in the beginning you know um free enterprise and, and, and companies getting involved to run education for, you know, for a for-profit. Um, yeah, turns out, of course, it's not good. 
and it shouldn't shock anyone because there were a lot of people predicting this, these these problems that you would see this. And of course, even more worrying, the idea that, you know, if you go to one of these schools, well, then you get an inflated grade. Um, yeah, that's obviously going to be cause a massive problem further down the line. Um, and we have to ask the question, is the same thing happening in UK free schools here? Um, it's it's, it's going to be a problem. We, we've got to look into it. We've got to find out. Um, and of course, eventually, I would say, you know, we've got to get rid of these. And I think phasing them out and, you know, putting limits on how much profit that can actually be extracted from the company, something that should be, I think, standard in all government contracts. Any government money that goes to private enterprises to do something on behalf of the government should have a, hey, you can't withdraw, you know, beyond X amount of profit from this company because, you know, you've received public money. We don't want public money going into, you know, people's back pockets. Um, definitely something that should be brought in, I think, by Labour. That could be a good bill to introduce because that would stop a lot of things then. Um, so, as always, let me know what you think. Um, if you are Swedish and you know about this problem, uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think about all this. Is this um, going to end up going in, in a good way? Um, what else is going on? Because obviously, you know, we see, you know, stuff like this. And oh, very often you are missing sort of a lot bigger picture um, of what's going on here. But to be honest, as, as we said at the beginning, um, a lot of people predicted at the beginning that these free schools were going to be a lot lot worse than they were any good and we've had many of this you know free school idea has been floating around for about you know 10 years now or more in some cases in some countries and yeah we've got to look at the results and this is when we can look at these results and it looks like sweden is going well actually these free schools didn't turn out as well as many of the well conservatives had promised that they would do so Something else we probably need to look to uh, here in the UK as well. So, as always, uh, thank you very much for watching. And, of course, as always, we'll see you all next time.